Welcome everybody, this is uh, Martin here for Trade VSA on Live FB and the title for our talk is No Malaysian Government for the Day and with a Fallen Market, How You Can Invest Like the Super Investor. So where do we find under new shares now as I said before and can and you can hold well collecting dividends. So I'm going to share with you three ideas. Uh, definitely go over to fb.com smart or you can download uh, a free mobile app so this limited time only where all these ideas are presented and by smart Roby in here go in and please click like okay hope you support me and uh, do click like on smart Roby. and those of you please go in and give us a feedback on smart Roby. we really appreciate you that if you have done so i will give you more going forward okay i will work harder but i still need feedbacks on our smart Roby. do do that especially our regular members in here if you have not download a copy of FB Smart Roby. Now if you look at it first uh, number one on Smart Roby, this was reported yesterday is definitely Cowsbird. Okay again super investor Cowsbird in here and like you know Cowsbird was one of the biggest loser because the anticipation of a new government may maybe end type alcohol so that's why you see the you know Cowsbird uh, but then today you can see that's all different already right the market's going up and right now you know with the almost ROE 186 uh, payment of 2.86 dividend of course these are not share compliance my friend but this stocks over the last three years has gone up 34 percent <coughs> per year and that's really wonderful this is not Shara great stock to pick up rated at 5.8 when I first uh, hosted this I think today is also up check it out in here uh, there is no uh, target price for this one in here now going forward this will be a rather defensive stocks going in there cows but uh, you can see uh, they continue to give uh, good earnings in here and in any part where the market is going through what they say bear market you good bets cows is definitely one of them you should in uh, buying on the pullback which are, we are seeing now put some cows but in there this is RC capital to talk about and those of you who came for the uh, master course I did talk about RC capital much more earlier on I think those of you who have would have known uh, you could have got in around the 168 before it started to move up and this is one of those that is high rated 7 out of 8 ratings in here it's undervalued right uh, PE of 6 times uh, ROE of 15 times and the dividend of 5.6% and it really hasn't moved up yet and very important is that the dividend uh, recurring uh, PE continued to be low so the valuation has been has been low but it does pay a very good dividend and giving about 18 to 15% it does uh, growth right and you can see 2020 it should forecast a 13.3% but 2021 will be a lower one in here so that kind of news hasn't been really priced in. and this is really one of those stocks not many people are talking about and you find it here on the uh, live app with smart Roby and our Facebook Martin TF form in here all right and third is uh, also in here if you look at it uh, the RCK has not seen any slowdown in lending activity so check out the news that we posted in here and this was covered by RHB Institute too downside risk is just that the credit cost and financing margin but these guys are more like the soft approach of loan shark the soft approach and you know they are profit after tax uh, for the nine months is about 82.2 million uh, to, to up to date is the operating sh uh, sh uh, profits are growing is this that people don't like this because this is usually tied to the silver servant a lot of money lending and they know you know what happens if they can't pay off but target price is two dollar for the three check out on Roby what is the current price with PE of 8.5 times potential of 37 percent upside okay so I think that's important because it helps you calculate all this intrinsic value going forward now uh, third on my list uh, on my list here for it is none other than GCB and this is uh, recent news also the uh, greater sales of cocoa uh, ingredients you can see uh, net profit has got up but uh, has a ratings of 5 out of 8 now a lot of the stocks that we talk about here have pretty high ratings and because we're looking for really undervalued shares a little bit of dividend in this case 0 0.63 out here uh, it's do undervalue a target price of 337 uh, check out what is GCB today I do think which is uh, 
upside of uh, 12%. Okay, so we are talking somewhere between uh, maybe around two, 280 to uh, $3, touching $3 in here. Uh, so, and this is also coincide with the uh, one of the broker houses also uh, giving a good uh, uh, price level too. All right, and uh, this is definitely right now is undervalued. Uh, 68% in here, uh, pays a small dividend, right, 0.63. Take a look at it, go through the news, and uh, what we've seen is a, a jump in the business. Okay, so those are the three shares in here that I talk about GCB, RC Capital, and Carlsberg. Now, this, when we talk about the super investor, the term that we have, you gotta have a little bit of time frame, you have to have a little bit of patience. Right, it's not so much that you want to trade. Now, those of you who want to trade can follow our Monday and Tuesday live FB, which is done by our senior trainer, Zach Lim, for much. But in this, this segment right now, the live FB that I intend to do is more on focusing. There are values in the market in there. And what I want to teach you guys is to look for the shares that you can buy that have uh, uh, what we call dividend going in there and some of these I've bought it from my client too so with the help of Smart Roby so I hope that you install Smart Roby and you're able to you know get many of the same content that I'm getting so you can get it too with the Malaysian government right now where are we looking at of course no doubt if you are here for the first time do join us in our trade vsa telegram we are very close to hitting above 3000 members in our telegram vsa group and we like to grow that so we also appreciate if you can forward this and share this with other members that you think will be interested in uh, stock market tips not only for the malaysian market both fundamental and technicals and not forgetting is our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to it so not to be miss any of our very, very interesting and uh, content that will help you to make money in that one. So today, what we have so far is the Pakatan government uh, that uh, seems to be have collapsed. I think uh, this morning on the headline, uh, the H newspaper say, please give the right a break a unity government is best hope for what we have and right now as i'm talking right now you can see on the right hand side in here this is the the, the pakatan need 122 seats out from uh, no 112 seats if i'm not mistaken from 222 uh to really have a unity government uh other than you saw the asmin team has broken up in the faction and that's what that really happening in the malaysian team in here people don't really know what's going on and the best uh, that some of the newer water that we seen last night has talked about you know you know you know at the Dataran Merdeka they went out and they really told you know the factions as well as the current government you know what the hell is going on last Friday we had the agreement that you know uh, Dr. Mahate will step down on uh, after the APEC November but it did not then there was so-called a coup, coup d'etat on Sunday afternoon and right now we're on Wednesday so the parliament has been dissolved as a result of this so-called tussle between the Perikatan National that's another team and that's, that's one uh, another team is the PH so you can see on the right hand side what we have so far is that we do have the support of the GPS from the Sarawak the uh, PH the DAP the Warisan and that was able to form this small uh, unity government. We are still waiting on as the Argo continue to uh, interview who will um, uh, command the major majority. And this is uh, a news just uh, uh, yesterday uh, that the Argo is really doing like a HR manager interviewing who it is. It, I have to say, you know, with this Argo that we have, it's really going up to, to the ground, grassroots, and really listening to all the MPs, really figure out what's happening. Now, what do you think all so far? Uh, have you seen so far? All right, give me a thumbs up. Do you think uh, uh, want a unity government? From my standpoint, it's always we're looking for is stability in the stock market. And when you don't have stock market stability, I will show you in the next slide or so, this is where you see a lot of foreign funds will sort of cash out and they really don't want to come into this market in here. Uncertainty is definitely not. Now, on top of that, we also have the coronaviruses that you can see. 
So right now, the coronavirus, uh, last night there was another 800 points, the day before almost 1,800 points dropped on the US Dow, which totally wiped out 1.7 trillion the US stock market in two ways. But having said that, I think many of you who have been through uh, my talk and would have known this in my opinion, is temporary. There are value to be found. And that's why this topic here for today, how to be that super investor and really go in and buy. I will recommend, uh, so-called, uh, I will sort of share with you these three ideas, right, that you can take home and see both fundamental and technical side, whether you can use it with smart Roby to help you that. Uh, these are not trading stocks, but they are uh, relative high and something you want to put in your portfolio that you can uh, sleep better too and I think that's very important for, for that purpose okay so right now markets down but very important I think with the US market uh, crisis that you say here this is for US contact let me just show you this this is quite important I've shown this first time uh, to the public let me just get this my laser pointer here and every time you see there is a uh, epidemic or pandemic similar what we have with the HIV 20 years ago we have the SARS in 2003 the avian flu virus the dengue fevers and again this is from the US context the MERS virus right and then the Ebola the market will tank so you have to be in a way uh, to be thankful when you have events like this which we call them the black swan event that really allows you to go in and buy as you can see after the average you know, after six months, when the whole thing's over, the market's up by 8%, and one year is up almost 13% in here. So use the trade VSA, use the uh, Pentagon charts to do your timing on a stock, which is also I'm doing on my site for as well my own portfolio, as well for my client portfolio, really looking in to buy right at the bottom. Pay attention to the volume, pay attention to the spread of the bar, and you, you guys who really follow me will probably know what to do it. Uh, okay, David say about the lagging. I'm so sorry about that. That's a lot we got to do with your uh, Facebook. We'll try to do what we can. So very important now uh, for guys is to really look at where the market's heading. Okay. To me, the Malaysian market right now, if you don't have a government, it's going to be unstable. That's why the prognosis that you need to be a super investor to really hold on to thick and thin some of these stocks idea which I'm going to share you about. And then the next one is the US market. Yes, no doubt US market has fallen more than uh, what 13% or 7% for the whole year. But I do think based on the statistics that I have in here, they will rebound and they'll always do. So hits up. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not forgetting now this is the landscape of the Malaysian and for those our premium members who have this you can see the correlation between the KLCI which is in the uh, blue line here uh, let me just get this yeah, the blue line that you see here this is the blue line and the red line is the negative outflow so every time we see negative outflow that market is going to hit now right now i don't see potentially any green uh, foreign funds will be buying will be surprised perhaps maybe when the uh, uh prime ministers been named again depending on who they name of course on my best bets for the foreign funds we still need anua for that uh, team all right anybody else will tend to be more inward looking the market will take another hit which I already said early on to my client in some of it uh, on Sunday where I whatsapp to all of you those of you who in my network that the market will break below 1500 which it did and considering the coronavirus it will go further low today the uh, the KLCI let me just go on here to look at the market it is down, uh, it's up five, uh, five points, uh, 15.05, right? And we have some of the big winners uh, right now is MSC, uh, GDX, and Bajaya Cops, which in my opinion, these are really small, names, but the most important one is to look on the foreign funds uh, coming in or not. Okay, let's go on to the next slide that we have in here. Right now, technology, healthcare, and utility are the one that is really trending it up. If you have bought it recently, you probably bought it at the high. It's going to be difficult to make money going in. Any good news coming up, we'll see uh, healthcare prices coming out from the sky level here to come down. And as I said before, I have taken some profits out from the healthcare and I'm deciding to really uh, go into uh, buying some, some of these stocks over here, right? Uh, which tend to lag behind like the telemedia, 
the risk is coming up, utilities, plantations, constructions is something we want to look at, but construction, again, at this no government status that we have in here or looking for unity government, there will be a lot of uncertainty. So over the construction side, finance are really taking a hit and you can see composite tax is where we are. Now, going forward, this is the KLCI when the news came out on uh, Monday. You could see the market went down almost 40 points. And if you have, you know, Red Pentagon or you have the Roby, check out the KLCI, you will see somewhere in early February, okay, you can see the market already broke below to 1550. So that was already uh, seeing a demise. Uh, of the market in here. I was expecting it to break up, but it couldn't and then this news comes out. So it's always good to pay attention to the red pentagon, okay, and the orange. Now we can see that this red pentagon coincides with the orange. That means trends is going down. So take a look at the charts. Very, very important because they're going to tell you that you're going to be in the money or going to be out of the money. Now let's go on to the next uh, in here. Now remember there was already a rate cuts 25% on. I do think with the coronavirus in here, the economic stimulus that is going to be announced uh, by, uh, I think it's going to be Mahate, which is the in interim prime minister, which they did talk about the stimulus, economic stimulus for the coronavirus or COVID-19, another rate cuts. So what does that tell you? That tells you finance sector is going to go down and construction uh, will probably take uh, backseat too. So a lot of the construction and property sectors will be affected in. Right. Okay, not forgetting is also next coming Sunday, we're going to be doing a workshop for those of you who have small capital might want to find out uh, how you can use some of our strategy to make 6 to 10% a day using a small capital with time tested strategy in here. So do register us on our website, go to the facebook.com or go to tradebs.com or just send us an email. And here is one Testimony of one of our members who attended our master class who we'll talk about, you know, just, just go in to our facebook.com slash martintf.wong and he talks about how he possible to make a 5% monthly return or 5,000 ringgit, which is achievable. Because small capital, remember, the talk that we talk about is very small capital. If you're interested to make a big money with small capital, definitely you don't want to miss this uh, workshop preview. All right. So uh, this is our monthly uh, coaching and mentoring session that we do uh, time to time. This is on the 7th of March. So remember on Saturday, we do our uh, members meeting and then we do the workshop in there. All right. So again, th that's all we have for today. And uh, we just want to make sure you guys get the uh, Smart Roby apps on your phone and able to get those uh, content, which is very important for you make the daily day decision. And please click like and give us a feedback on Smart Roby uh, uh, page on Facebook. Just click on the review and very happy to assist you. Give us any feedback that we have and for uh, today. All right. So uh, thanks, thanks, Mohamad, for coming on today. 